Okay, good morning. This week we are back on the farm and we've got a few bits to discuss because on Saturday last weekend there was a limousine sale down at Rugby Market. Now we haven't ventured any further than Welshpool in the past, but there was a pedigree limousine sale, cows, calves, bulls, I was quite interested. Mark couldn't come, so I had to go on my own. But the main thing for us was obviously to find a new bull because we're right at that time where we have got to put a bull now back to the cows that previously didn't get in calf and the cows that are now calfing, when they start cycling and we're ready to put them back, they need to be back in, ready to go. So I did find a bull, meet Udo. So this is Udo. Now we don't particularly like his name. So we're gonna put a competition out there. We would like any comments dropped in the box at the end of this for name suggestions. And if you pick the name that we like the best, we will name Udo, whatever your suggestion is. And Mark has suggested as a prize, you get to spend an entire day working on the farm with Mark. We'll make sure it's a Wednesday as well. So we'll treat you to a salad bap at the auction and you can come along. So we want to name Udo or rename Udo. So in addition to Udo, while I was at the auction, because rugby is so far away, it would have took us about three hours in the tractor and stock box. What we decided to do was if we were going to bring a bull back, I was then going to buy and we'd fill a wagon load. Now, unfortunately, the wagons that were on site at the time were all Arctics. So I had to buy an Arctic full. So we bought eight cows with calf at foot and we bought 13, a bit of an unlucky number, cows that are presently ready to either calf in the next month, and there was one actually that was due to calf in October, but that fit into our other group that we've got that are due to calf later on in the year. So that worked quite nice. Then obviously we've got Udo the bull. So the wagon was full, they delivered it on Sunday last weekend. Everything is in, settled, everything is going well. We haven't had any of the calves as yet, but like I say, they're due in the next month. So the plan now with Udo, who is, well now leaving actually, but who is the super duper high up pedigree. When I checked all the reports when I was there, he had the highest and the best quality sperm count of all the tests that were done. He's young, he is somewhere in his bloodline, there is a bull called Lego. Like you name it, he is the bee's knees and he cost an absolute fortune. So he has to work and get on the job. So let's go and see in the field. Okay, so that is Udo out now, and we will see if he gets down to business. We've not seen anything in the last five minutes, so Mark is already getting a bit depressed because he doesn't think he's gonna do anything, but I think he's gonna be a belting good bull. A little bit different temperament as well than Sam, if you remember Sam, not too sure about him yet. He's fine with me in the pen, but obviously he took a little bit of loading back there. He's a little bit more stubborn. Don't know, we'll just, just keep an eye on him really. Anyway, we've got another surprise for you, follow me. Now, in addition to Udo going out, which you have just seen, we have a surprising turn of events, actually. Turn around. So we have gone soft on Sam one more time because we had him in the shed with the other steers. We were fattening him up, ready to sell to the fat ring in the market. He's put over a hundred kilo on to the point where he can fit his head through the feed barrier, but his neck, he gets jammed on it. He's got that much meat around his neck. So he really has put the weight on, he looks good. But what we did notice while he was down in the shed is Soft Sam 
he's soft no more. He got something about him, there was a lot more swagger, he was pushing everything else out of the way, he was having a bit of rough and tumble and scrapping with the other boys in the pen, and we started to notice that that has not been him that we've seen since we had him. So, on the back of that, and because we like Sam, because with us he is quite soft and nice to deal with, we thought we'll give him one more chance. So, what we had is we've got 15 in here, there's about three or four that are already, um, I bought the ones we've just mentioned from the auction, which are already due to calf in October time. Um, but the rest of them are the ones that Sam did not catch last time. So we've penned these up in a field on their own. So there's 15 in here. There's about 12 that he needs to serve. And we thought we'd give him another go. One last chance, Sam. So come on, get your swagger on, turn it on, put your clone on, get down to business and get working. Apologies, I actually just told you a lie. It wasn't last Saturday and last Sunday that we bought and then delivered Udo and the new batch. It was the Saturday and Sunday before. I've lost track of my dates. What we've done is we've kept Udo in the shed because the people that we bought him from basically said through the auction and the stress of the auction and the sale and the movement, he'll get knocked back by about a couple of weeks. So if we can pen him up on his own for a couple of weeks, give him plenty of corn, ad-lib feeding basically, and just let him settle. And then from that point, he will have got himself back on track. And then when we do put him out, he will start serving immediately and should be fine. Quick look at some of our others. So the cows that we had calf last time of our own and some of the ones that we've just bought, we've also put in here. So in the evenings at the minute, because it still goes a little bit cooler, we are keeping them in the shed at the top. We're letting them graze out on this paddock by the house. So we let them graze this paddock in the day. We're putting them back in at night. We also had a poorly blue down in the shed. So we brought the blue round and put that in here as well. So like I say, Udo is out. Now you've seen Sam is out and hopefully back in action. We've got two bulls, we've got two groups, and it's gonna be a case in a few months time when we PD of seeing which bull has performed the best. So this again could be the last chance for Sam. Well, probably not. We'll find another reason to keep him. Anyway, if you like what you've seen, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and we will leave you with a montage as best we can of Sam and Udo, who is not yet named properly, getting on the job montage, boom.